Hello again, everyone. How are you today? I hope everyone is in a good condition. Welcome back to have more lessons with me, Miss Petaria, to improve your English. Today we'll continue our lesson. This is Unit Eleven. I can do that. I can do that. So we are talking about. We are learning about model can. I hope everyone is ready. Get ready with your notes and pencil. Let's get started. We are learning about. These are the details that we are learning about today. Let's learn about can or can't. The use of adverbs and how to collect or how to join adjective and noun. Adjective plus noun. Let's start from the first point we have here. What can they do? What can they do? So we have some names here. Number one, Marcus. We have Laura, Justin, George, Lola, Oliver, and Margaret. What can they do? As you can see in the picture, can you mention their jobs? What is Marcus' job? What is Marcus' occupation? He is an interpreter. What do you think about Laura's job? Kira-kira apa ya pekerjaannya? So, I'll look at what they are doing right now. What do you think is their job? Kira-kira apa pekerjaannya? Kira -kira. Okay, right now, uh, let's do the exercise. We will put. Those what you have done into sentences kita masukkan ke dalam kalimat ini tadi keywordsnya hanya gambar nah di sini mungkin you got more ideas that we have the clues here ada uh, kalimat yang membantu kita untuk ya untuk menyebutkan masing-masing profesi mereka this is an example for you Marcus is an interpreter, an interpreter. He can speak French and German fluently. Ya, ada kata kuncinya di sini. He can speak French and German fluently. What do you think the, his profession is? He is an interpreter. Number two, she can draw well. Three, he can fly 747 jumbo jets. Number four, he can drive a tractor. Number five, she can run very fast. Number six, he can use a computer really well. Number seven, Margaret is Oliver's flying. She can make fantastic cakes. Okay, by knowing these keywords, you can post the video. Coba cocokkan lagi apakah kira-kira profesi yang kalian tuliskan sebelumnya sudah tepat. Okay, let's continue to our next point. Okay, the thing that you have to remember, bentuk can or can't sebagai bentuk negatifnya, bentuknya sama untuk all people. Jadi untuk semua subjek sama, ya. I, we, they, you, he, she, it sama. I can draw, we can draw, they can draw. You can draw, he can draw, she can draw, it can draw. Begitu juga untuk bentuk negatifnya sama. I can't draw, we can't draw, they can't draw, you can't draw, he can't draw, she can't draw, it can't draw. Dan setelah model diikuti fog one. Ya, kata kerja kembali kata kerja dasar tidak perlu mendapatkan imbuan apapun. 
yang ditambahin s, ing, or id, ya. Yeah. Okay, check more examples on the use of can or can't in this conversation. Ya, yeah. di sini ada percakapan. I'd like you to read and later at the end of the video to listen to Oliver and Dominic. Complete the conversations. Try to do this yourself. Coba kalian isikan dulu sendiri ya untuk mengisi blanknya ini. At the end of the video, you can check your answer. Uh, the next point that we are learning today is the use of adverb. Sebelumnya kalian sudah belajar tentang adverbs of manner. Uh, on the description later, I will give you the link to review uh, lebih detail lagi in details about the use of adverbs of manner. Okay. Adverbs can come after the verb. She can run fast. He plays the guitar well. Regular adverbs and in lay. She can speak Spanish fluently. Please speak slowly. Ciri khasnya salah satunya adalah yang berbentuk regular adverbs ini berakhiran lay. Namun ada beberapa bentuk yang harus kita hafalkan, teman-teman cek lagi ya nanti di uh, another another video in this channel untuk penggunaan adverbs of manner. Okay, let's have the exercise. Ya. Yeah. Coba complete the sentences using the words in the by, uh, in the box ya. Yeah. Coba kalian pilih kira-kira yang pas untuk dimasukkan di tiap nomor ini yang mana. Pause the video to think about the answer and later at the end of the video you can listen to the audio. Kalian bisa cek jawabannya di akhir video. Ini harus kalian kerjakan sendiri dulu ya. Coba take some times to try to put the answers here in each number. Next, yeah, our next exercise. I'd like you to look at the pictures. Use the words to write questions with can. Di sini udah sudah ada keywordsnya, tapi diacak ya. Kosa katanya diacak. Sebagai contoh nomor satu ada I can you help and the correct questions form ada Can I help you? What about number two? You have tell time me please you the can. Ya. Yeah. Diawali semuanya dengan can because this is a question, ya. Yeah. Jadi party you can to come mind coba uh, build a sentence using the words you have here, okay? All right. So those are the questions and these are the answers. By looking at the pictures, use the words to write. Uh, you have already used the words to write questions with can. Kalian sudah buat pertanyaan dengan menggunakan model can. Nah, pertanyaan yang tadi, coba kalian cocokkan dengan jawaban ini. Mana yang tepat? Sebagai contoh, uh, as what you can see here, number three. Ya, apa ini? Ada party, ada you, uh, come. Ya. Uh, oh, tidak bisa. Ini memenuhi undangan ya. Sorry, I can't. It's my grandma's birthday on Saturday. Kita coba kalian cocokkan ya pertanyaan yang sudah kalian buat. Cocokkan dengan jawaban ini. Kira-kira nomor uh, A matches the questions in number 3. What about B, C, D, E, F? Pause the video. Focus on the answer. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, this is the point of our learning today. Ya, yaitu penggunaan adjective plus noun. Jadi ini adalah adjektif yang biasanya dipasangkan dengan noun yang di sebelah kanan. Ya, so we have some adjectives here: old, young, tall, fast, expensive, delicious, fresh, big, busy. Cosmopolitan, dangerous, exciting, funny, interesting, boring, warm and sunny, cold and wet. 
kira-kira pas dipasangkan dengan nouns yang mana ya we have food car people weather city sport and films I like you to match the group of adjectives on the left with the group of nouns on your right with with the nouns on your right ya yeah? coba group of adjective ada old young tall biasanya dipasangkan dengan noun people old people young people tall people bagaimana dengan yang lainnya ya yeah? coba kalian cocokkan pas dipasangkan dengan which nouns Oke, okay, by uh, using those adjectives that adjectives you have used as an exercise di bagian sebelumnya. Now complete the sentences with the words from the previous exercise. Ya, coba kalian isikan dengan menggunakan adjectives yang sudah kalian gunakan untuk latihan tadi untuk match adjectives and the noun. You may need Sometimes pause the video and try to get the answer. Okay, uh, that's it for today. After this, you will get you will get the audio to listen to from the first exercise up to the end. Listen to the audio carefully, match your answer, and listen to the pronunciations of each word so that you can improve your English better, better, and better. Okay? I think that's enough for today, everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining. Thank you for participating. Thank you for everything. Okay? See you next meeting. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy. Bye bye. Unit 11. Tape script 11.1. 1. Marcus is an interpreter. He can speak French and German fluently. 2. Laura is an architect. She can draw well. 3. Justin is a pilot. He can fly 747 jumbo jets. 4. George is a farmer. He can drive a tractor. 5. Lola is an athlete. She can run very fast. 6. Oliver is a schoolboy. He can use a computer really well. 7. Margaret is Oliver's grandmother. She can make fantastic cakes. Tape script 11.4. Of course I can. Can you use a computer, Oliver? Yes, of course I can. All my friends can. I use a computer at home in my bedroom, and we use computers at school all the time. That's great. What other things can you do? Well, I can run fast, very fast, and I can draw a bit. I can draw really good cars, but I can't drive them, of course. <laughs> I can draw good planes, too. When I'm big, I want to be a pilot and fly 747s. Excellent. Now, I know you can speak French. Yes, I can. I can speak French fluently because my dad's French. We sometimes speak French at home. Can you speak any other languages? No, I can't. I can't speak German or Spanish, just French and English, of course. And I can cook. I can make cakes. My grandma makes fantastic cakes, and I sometimes help her. Yesterday, we made a big chocolate cake. Tape script 11.6. Jenny Spitzer. I live in the city of Tucaman. I teach English. I can speak Spanish fluently and German a little bit. I love it here. Saturday night is dancing night and I go dancing with friends. A lot of my friends can play the guitar really well. 
I can't play a musical instrument, but I can dance very well. I love the music. On Sundays, I often go riding here. I can ride quite well now. Or sometimes I watch friends playing golf. I can't play golf, but I like watching it. Sunday is also the day for asado or barbecues. We always cook beef. I can't cook at all, but I want to learn. It's a great life here. Everyone is really friendly. Tape script, tape script, eleven point ten. Adjectives and nouns. One. A Ferrari is a fantastic car. It's so fast. Yeah, I know, but it's also so expensive. Two. How tall is your brother? He's very tall, one point nine meters. I'm only one point seven meters. Three. I think motor racing is a really dangerous sport. I know it's dangerous, but it's exciting too. That's why I love it. Four. Can I have a fresh orange juice, please? I'm afraid we don't have fresh. Okay, just a glass of water then. Five. New York is a very cosmopolitan city. I love it. Me too. I can't believe I'm here. Six. Charlie Chaplin made some very funny films, don't you think? No, I don't like his films. I think they're really boring. Seven. We can't go for a walk. It's too cold and wet. Yes, we can. Look at tape script.